All new tonight, the Musical Fair Theater about to become a city resident. The Amherst-based theater company finally finding a new home at Shea 710 Theater in Buffalo's downtown theater district. Musical Fair's lease at Damien University ends next spring. It recently had plans to join the Amherst Central Park project, but pulled out after backlash from residents. Tonight, 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley is taking a look at this new partnership and the impact it could have on the surrounding community. This, I believe, is the future for our city and for Musical Fair. I can't wait to get started. Musical Fair founder and executive director Randall Kramer has finally found a permanent home in downtown Buffalo's theater district at Shea 710 Theater. By moving to Shea 710, we have been given a once in a generation opportunity to elevate our productions, expand our scope, and reunite a vital piece of downtown's theater district. Musical Fair's current lease at Damon University in Amherst expires in May. In August, Kramer pulled out of plans to build a new theater at Amherst Central Park after backlash from residents who didn't want to foot the bill. That's when Shea's president, Brian Higgins, and his board figured it would be a win-win to have Musical Fair join the 710 Theater. We feel Shea's has a parental responsibility, not only to the theater district, but to all of the organic homegrown theaters, of which there are almost two dozen. Musical Fair has already performed 100 shows at 710 Theater, bringing in 30,000 guests to downtown. Musical Fair signed a 10-year agreement with Shays in which both theaters will now share costs and revenues from productions. This is a, a theater group that's moving into the city and not out of it. We think that there's a great audience here, plus the audience that we already have. Now, Musical Fair Theater will have a chance to expand its seating capacity from its current about 130 to more than 500 seats here at 710. And so the upside when a show hits and when people really want to come, we'll be able to accommodate them. More than 100 bars, restaurants and coffee shops are near the theater district and some, like the Bijou Grill, rely heavily on the theater business. We're ecstatic. We're ecstatic that another theater has joined our, our family on the street. Um, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable to have another set of group of people coming in to see shows on a regular basis. Musical Fair will begin its theater season at its new home in October of next year. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.